All right, time to make a video. What's up guys? Thanks for joining me. It's been a while since I've been back here in the yard. As you can see, we've cleaned out the backyard, took some brush down, all that good stuff. And it's time as a homeowner that I bought my very first lawnmower. I had a hand-me-down mower for a little bit, but now it is time to open up my very first brand new Toro Recycler. It says not to use a knife because the mower bag is right here. So I used a knife on the ends, as you saw, and there we go. Here is the bagger. You got these little clip-ins here. So you just lift this up, slap these in here, like so. Some of these clips are a little bit of a to get on. But there we go. That is the bagger all set up there. Woo! Next we've got some owner's manuals. Those are for people who like to read before they take things apart. We've got some cardboard that we need to pull out of here in order to get the mower out. We've got the handlebar here. Slide this out. Next we've got the mower. Always remember to lift with your back, not your knees. We're gonna go down here, we're just gonna grab this. Get under here, grab this. Set this down, get this out of the way. So you can see, it comes with the oil that you need get started and of course the discharge chute got plastic over the engine take that off so what we're gonna do is just these blue clips here I'm gonna pop these out we're gonna lift this up we've got the pull string which I'm actually sitting on here this goes back get a little bug what we're gonna do is these blue clips they slide in here you can actually do two adjustments on you can't see me, can you? Two adjustments on the handlebars. This blue clip here, these come up. You can swing it up, so if you're taller, right there. So over here on the handlebars, we've got a little bit of tape here. We'll just take that off. This top lever, you have to hold down in order for the mower to start. This bottom lever is the self-propelled part, which is a front wheel drive system, right there. So, works very similar to the old mower I had. Had the exact same levers. These levers actually feel pretty good quality. I'm happy with that. One thing I will note when you check the oil in your engine, put the mower on flat ground. It's gonna give you a more accurate reading. This mower doesn't come with any oil in it or gas because that would be dangerous when they ship it. So, what we have to do is we have to put oil in. So it does say to use the entire contents of this on your initial fill. It's pretty idiot proof, unless you're an idiot. You open this up, it tells you pretty much how to use the mower without actually saying anything. That's kind of nice. You don't have to know how to read to run a mower. Oh, that's comforting. All right, so we're gonna put this back in there. It's just a simple half twist to take it off, put it back in. We need to put some gas in this before we turn her on. I haven't even started this thing yet. The adjustments on the wheels are typical with pretty much every mower get my foot under there. Don't do that when it's running. You'll learn real quick how to lose a foot. I'm gonna stick this on medium. These are not supposed to be easy, I guess. For this first mow, I mean, as you can see, the grass is getting pretty tall. So we're gonna chop this little guy down. Go under here. There we go. Now we're up at a more reasonable height. Look at that. That still might be a little bit low. I don't know what I have for rocks in this lawn this year. Pushed up with the frost because I'm in New England. Stuff pushes up with the frost. Let's put this bag around here. See how that fits. We'll go in through the top. Lift up this chute here. And then this little guy sits right down in these grooves here. Right there, you can see. Actually goes in there pretty nice. They have a nice wide opening here so it slides right down in there. So it's pretty tight, I like it. Look at that, pretty sexy mower if I do say so myself. Let's talk about gas for a second here. Make sure you use just gas and not mixed gas for your trimmer. Gas should be clear when it's mixed with oil, it's not clear. And um, make sure you mark your containers because I have a the Echo trimmer that I've done a video. If you haven't watched that, link's below. And so make sure you mark your containers between your mixed for your two cycle 
and just your straight gas. If you look in here, no color. All right, so I filled that as full as I should. That's kind of like a half turn as well. Take this lever, pull it down. You can't start the mower without this lever down. And I'm actually, before I do that, I'm gonna do a few soft pulls just to get the oil circulating in the engine. Because remember, this engine has never been started before. It's never had oil through it. Maybe it has in the factory. I don't know how they test these things. But go through, just get the oil circulating in the engine. And then, I'm just gonna take this, pull her down. First. Oh, then you will match that. Guaranteed to start. I guess they were right. <laughs> well, there we go how to undress your mower for the very first time, get her started up, and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. I used to do lawn care years ago before I jumped into the white collar world, and still love mowing, still love summertime. Trimming, mowing, the smell of summer, the cut grass, just warms my soul. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have questions, hit me up in the comments below about anything landscaping, this mower, this, specific model I'll put in the description I don't remember off the top of my head I know it's the smart stow uh, 163 cc Toro and it's the self-propelled without the um, self-adjusting like walk speed adjustment thing I don't remember what they call that but basically they have a model that um, is self-paced so the faster you walk the faster it's supposed to go I don't like that I'd, I wanted just one lever to just kick on that power. I'm happy with it so far. We'll see, I'm gonna do a little bit more mowing and I'll see you guys next time.